Today in Washington. President Barack Obama on Friday unveiled a new strategy for Afghanistan, which entails defeating safe havens for Taliban and Al Qaeda militants there and in neighboring Pakistan. Announcing plans for an increased American troop presence in Afghanistan, Obama told the nation that the U.S. military in Afghanistan would shift the focus of its mission to training and expanding the Afghan army so that it could take the lead in securing the country. Obama said that multiple intelligence estimates had warned that Al Qaeda was actively planning attacks on the United States from safe havens in the mountainous border regions of Pakistan. The president also proposed the creation of a new contact group on Afghanistan, including Iran, to combat the Taliban and Al Qaeda insurgency. Meanwhile, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton on Thursday said that Washington would continue to reach out to Tehran, despite its cool response to President Barack Obama's overture last week. Clinton said, quote, We have a long-held view that there are going to be difficult obstacles to engaging in the short run with the Iranians, but we're going to continue to reach out. In an unprecedented videotaped message last week to Iran's leaders and the Iranian people, Obama offered a, quote, new beginning for diplomatic engagement between the two longtime foes. Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, dismissed the message as rhetoric and demanded a change in U.S. policy towards the Islamic Republic a position which was echoed by Ayatollah Akbar Hoshemi Rafsanjani at Friday Prayer Today in Tehran. These stories and more at televisionwashington.com.